The Japanese government said health risk to humans remain very low if Fukushima contaminated water was released into sea after being treated. Speaking to journalists, officials said the government would however continue consultations before going ahead with a measure that has sparked radiation outrage among neighboring countries and environmentalists. Controlled discharge of the partially decontaminated water into the Pacific Ocean is currently the most viable option available to the government to solve one of the most pressing problems in dismantling the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. It is the water used to cool reactors, damaged by the 2011 nuclear disaster, and subsequently treated to remove most of the radioactive isotopes and stored in tanks within the nuclear compound. The Japanese government maintains that the discharge will take place within the standards of the United Nations Scientific Committee on the effects of atomic radiation and recalls that several countries have made similar discharges in recent years and even with larger amounts of tritium. These arguments have failed to allay the fears of neighboring countries such as South Korea, which have spoken out against the dumping in various international forums as well as those of environmental and anti-nuclear organizations that maintain their reservations because of the long-term effects of radiation. In any case, the Japanese authorities will not take a final decision until it has completed the process of consultations with the local population, which tends to lose the most from a potential negative impact resulting from the stigmatization of their fishery products, one of the main economic activities of the Fukushima prefecture. Vincent Arboleda, UNTV News and Rescue